Zero. All engine running. This is where the journey began. Altitude 40. A moon landing that inspired a then five-year-old Jeff Bezos to dare to dream. And it's no surprise that the launch of the new Shepard is planned for the 52nd anniversary of the Apollo 11 moon landing. So he definitely wants to tie the legacy of his new company to the sort of aura and the mystique of the accomplishments of NASA during the space race. I want to go on this flight because it's a thing I've wanted to do all my life. It's an adventure. It's a big deal for me. I invited my brother to come on this first flight because we're closest friends. I really want you to come with me. Would you? Are you serious? I am. Oliver, is this your first look at the Joining the Bezos brothers so aboard the new Shepard will be an 18-year-old teenager, Oliver Damon, replacing the original, unidentified winner who paid $28 million at auction and who's given up the seat because of what is said to be a scheduling conflict. You're in zero gravity for four minutes. Also aboard the craft will be octanagerian Wally Funk. I'm ready. I've been trained. She was one of 13 women who trained as astronauts in the Mercury Project in the 1960s, but were barred from going into space by NASA's then discriminatory gender policy. She's a non-paying guest of the Amazon founder. I feel fantastic. I am so, so surprised, but I won't know more until everything comes around. Release, release, release. The new Shepard flight release. comes shortly after that by another billionaire, Richard Branson. Along with three crewmates and two pilots aboard Spaceship Two, the Virgin Galactic owner caught a glimpse of Earth from more than 80 kilometers up and a few minutes of weightlessness before gliding safely back down. This billionaire space race has not come without criticism. What about the climate impacts of their business empires? What about uh, income inequality and their problematic wealth? Uh, there are real questions about whether or not these rocket companies are that shiny object meant to distract us from the wider impacts of their business empires. But above all, these flights represent a culmination of one of the most intense processes of privatization the world has ever seen. While some public funds are still involved, it is clear that private capital now also controls access to what was once the sole domain of nation states. Right away, Houston. That's good. Mike Hanna, Al Jazeera, Washington.